So, um, this this Oh man. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this thing out of here. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I might not be able to get it out of here. We can try. No, not really. I'm not getting it stuck. I'll have to dig it out from the front. Get it warmed up. Say hello to this 2014 Scion IQ. I honestly still don't really know what to make of it. I have not seen one of these cars in person uh, like this. I've, I've seen them every now and then driving on the street, but I've never have been up close and personal with one. So this is all new to me. As you can see, it is a very tiny car. This is probably something my wife would like to drive because she likes tiny cars. But this is really tiny. Really, really, really tiny. <laughs> this car makes me chuckle when I look at it. So, um, Scion was, uh, I, I don't think they're around anymore now. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think Scion's around. This is technically a Toyota, in a sense. Uh, sorry for all the ice and stuff, as you can see, it's, it is snowing again. But, it's, it's just a funky looking car. I think this was made to compete with like the smart car, which is technically made by Mercedes. <laughs> I just think it's it just makes me chuckle at, <laughs> you know how small and how small it is and stuff. But this car does have some pretty cool quirks with it. Um, I honestly I don't really know what to make of the styling. Um, I think it looks okay. Um, it's definitely eccentric. If people think the, uh, if people always thought the Aztec was ugly, then I'd really want to know what they said about this car. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see, we still have ice on here from the ice storm a couple days ago. So anyway, the Scion IQ. I don't know if this is a specific trim. Um, it just says IQ on the back. The sticker that's printed doesn't have a particular uh, trim level, so I don't know if, if there are other trims available with this vehicle, but as you can see, um, it's got wheel covers instead of, you know, actual rims. It does have projector headlights, which are not on at the moment, but they are not automatic. I do like the mirrors because the mirrors are a different color from the car, and they have turn signal markers on them. The whole side of the car is comprised of a, a door, along with one tiny little window, and of course your fuel filler door on the driver's side. The back is complete with uh, a windshield wiper. And you can see the high mount stop lamp looks like they're LEDs there behind the window. Let's take a look inside. Now once we open this door, you're gonna see things get a little interesting. I do like the way the interior of this car is set up. But the seats are crazy because it's just plain black cloth here, but we have, you know, this weird circle pattern on the bottoms of both seats. Very interesting. The door trim looks cool. It's got gloss black plastic. It's got one little tweeter here. Got your uh, window controls, door locks. 
It's, it says Scion on the door trim and it's even got a small cup holder inside of the door pocket. There is a back seat to this car. Can you believe it? <laughs> There's no room in this car for anybody to sit back here. There's cup holders also for your non-existent rear passengers, but it looks like if the seats were up far enough, you might be able to get, I don't know, children back there. But I don't think any full-size adult is going to be able to fit back there. That's what I'm saying. Let's get in. So, this is the interior setup of the Scion IQ. Very different indeed. hard to do there we go. now I do like the way the gauge cluster is set up it is a unique gauge design turn the lights on there we go so it's just got a large speedometer there and a small tack at the bottom and that's really it everything else is kind of over here so this car is low on fuel as we can see this one has 56,000 miles on it. Um, now, actually, this car was an auction car. We got this one at the auction. It's been here for a few months, but everything checked out on it, so it is up for sale. This is one of the few auction cars that I've seen since I've been doing this that have gone to the lot. So, yeah. Um, so then over here, it's got your, your mirrors, your power mirrors on the outside, turn signals, high beams, your wiper controls over here, which still have ice on them. And it looks like the steering wheel just has the controls for your audio over there on the, the driver's side, or the left side, I should say. Also, the sport, the steering wheel has a flat spot at the bottom, sport designed. And I just realized the needles are kind of interesting. They widen out toward the ends of them. How cool is that? Now over to the center stack, which is literally a stack, we have this audio system. As a reflection of the true spirit of America. Which is touch screen, I'm assuming. Uh, it's on AM. We don't really care for AM too much. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's not on a I'm sorry. But yeah, this is uh, kind of cool. I like the design of this. It's got a CD player up at the top. It might have navigation. No, no navigation on this one. Emergency hazards. And here's your climate controls. They're all stacked up. <laughs> uh, very simple. Very simple climate controls. Down at the very bottom, what's this? It looks like uh, this. Oh, okay. There's a 12 volt power outlet down at the bottom. Uh, the shifter. Got your little jagged shifter there. Doesn't really have sport mode, I don't think. I'm not sure what B stands for. Um, let's see what else we got. So we have our traction control override here. And uh, oh, these are our door locks. Are they? Yeah, those are the door locks. Interesting. A USB and an auxiliary input jack. Your handbrake, of course. One cup holder. And nothing. There is nothing here. What's this do? So that makes it easier to get to the back. Interesting. Oh, the back cup holder says Scion on them. That's cool. Interesting. I do like all the room that's in front of the passenger, the front passenger. That's that's pretty cool right there. Um, that's an airbag. No glove compartment. Really? 
Oh, there's a little drawer under the passenger seat. That's cool. This is the thing that if you were to get stuck or towing or something, you, you put that in the bumper. Well, that's that's kind of cool. But there's no glove box. You do get a knee airbag instead. I guess that would kind of be better in a way. Let's see. Mirrors. This is cool. How do you turn it on? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, that's kind of neat. Kind of direct what light you're going into. That is literally uh, all of this interior consists of. Let's check out the way back, shall we? <laughs> wow. So there's your standard trunk space. Good news is, well, once the headrests are off, you can fold the seats and actually have a little more trunk room in here, but it's kind of surprising. Oh, look, look. There's even a small storage pocket under the floor. Now that's kind of cool. That kind of makes up for the lack of room there is this way. At least you could put things in there. That's neat. Unlike the smart car, the smart car has the engine under the back of the uh, under the back of the car. So when you open the, the lift gate and you remove the floor, that's where the engine of the smart car is. But this one is just like any other car. It's under the hood. Let's see what's under here. <laughs> this is uh I honestly don't know what size it is. Uh, let's see. I have no idea. It's a three-cylinder engine now. But that's it. That's honestly really all this car needs. A little tiny three-cylinder. Even the battery's pretty small. Now, in all honesty, I <laughs> I want to take this car out so bad. Unfortunately, a couple of things here. For one, it's completely out of gas. And number two, uh, the roads are really bad. So I don't really imagine this little tiny car handling too well on these roads. In fact, I was kind of nervous to bring it out of its spot after I dug it out. So... Um, I'm going to drive it just around the lot. <laughs> See how well this does. Oh. <laughs> it feels funny when you turn because you're literally, oh, you're literally pivoting right at the, uh, <laughs> You're literally pivoting at the seat, like the back seat. <laughs> it just feels funny. Now, honestly, even though this car is a little, a little eccentric, I bet this car would be fun to to just drive in normal situations. Of course, this kind of weather, I don't think it would do so well. It does feel like it's pretty peppy. Let's go back this way. I want to. This way. <laughs> It's, it's, it's fun. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, this would be a blast to take out, but I know 
I know the weather's not going to clear up anytime soon. I'm going to park it right there. So, I'm going to cut the camera. Okay. So that's going to be it for this vlog. Let's go ahead and shut everything down. Yeah, turn off the headlights. I forgot. All right. <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, goodbye, little Scion. You've been a treat. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today's vlog. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. It's been a little while since I can I've been able to do one of these little short um, tours and. That car, I just, uh, it's snowing and it's freezing out here, but that car, I did not want that car to get away from the vlog. I thought for sure it was gone, but nope, it's still here. So, that was a very interesting car. I hope you guys thought it was interesting. It was awesome, too. I mean, I would not mind driving that thing. <laughs> it's like, it really does feel kind of like a go-kart, but, uh, even just kind of going around the corners of the dealership of the lot and stuff you can it just it slides you can kind of feel it slide so I definitely wouldn't want to drive that car in this weather at least with roads that have been untreated and such but in the same sense it would probably uh, be a blast to do that too <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe also, check out all my new merchandise over at teespring.com slash stores slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. And also check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. I do plan on having MVS come back really soon, even though it has been snowing and it's cold and it's crazy and stuff. Um, I noticed, you know, it's, it's about 5.30 right now and there's still daylight, so I think we're getting to the point of the year of the season where the daylight might be stretching out a little longer. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're going to be doing some MVS features here real soon. I promise. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs> this car makes me chuckle when I look at it. <laughs>